hot getting out getting out of jail and you know us being in the car and getting on the flight you know coming back i think the biggest thing for me is remembering the flight Pac was just so damn happy mm-hmm. you know to yeah. to be out of jail to be out right you know what i mean and we had girls and we smoking weed and partying yeah we on boss talk 101 101 yeah we going to talk yeah man you know um like i said man we just blessed to have you on on the show today man boss talk 101 man we've been yeah. around for a couple of years now and you know we strive at trying to figure out like man who can we bring on so our people to be able to you know feel what we're trying to give them you right know on. this whole thing is going to be playing with me and you did long ago right mm. yes, you see sir. what i'm saying and that's yeah. why we do this bro yeah. so your 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 grandkids yeah your your <laughs> your great grandkids yeah. they'll be able to go, be go able back to and story. Yeah, that my granddaddy did that and that's hard to me yeah, i mean you is. know what i'm saying i love it bro yeah. So I want to talk about, you know, some things, you know, I, I ain't going to lie to you. Uh, my favorite song is I Ain't Mad At You. You just took a drink, so I sure would like to hear a little bit of that before I can start any question about no any anything I got. So if, if your boy, me, 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 you know, get it together and give me some. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, no, no, I ain't mad at you. Man, stop playing. You see what I'm saying? Do you know how I am about the music, oh, man? I love it. Listen. No, you see, I, I'm an R&B. He's rap. I do all. I, no, no, I do it all. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I do it all. Stop playing. Well, I'm an R&B. I'm sorry. Man, you was one of those guys early on that really... When you think back to those times, man, you had Keith Sweat, you had all these different people that was doing R and B, but mm-hmm. you was able to, you know, understand the, the hip hop era and right. come in, blend in. Oh, yeah. Like how how was that, man? Because I know you know you had H Town, you had a bunch of people during that time back yes. then, but you was one that you came in. You know, yeah, you had Nate Dogg, and but you was a true to me R and B singer. Oh, wow, in the Thank mix of these guys and handling your business. Wow. So let's wow. talk about that, man. Well, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm thankful to that to uh, to Suge and uh, to Pop. That's you know right. what I mean. Like, you know, for, to Suge for signing me to the label at 15. You know, really being the R&B cat around Death Row. You know, outside of you know the guy I should say or the baby R&B mm-hmm. guy because Nate Dogg was there and yeah. Jewel. Um, but being able to do that, being connected to him, and then you know with the with the Pop stuff, you know him inviting me in the studio. I was working on my album. I could be. We had an A and a B studio, and I don't care if I'm in B back there working or A working. Pox is running in the studio while I'm on the mic. Hey man, come to the front. <laughs> come on, I got some for you. This hot. Bring your ass on. <laughs> you know. So you know, just just to I, I, I could I see those visions now. Wow. You know, as as a grown man and to know that he invited me on those records. Let's mm-hmm. go back a little bit, boy. Though, like like you were actually going to the prison. To see or, or to be around the fact that Pac was coming out to oh, be on yes. Death Row. Well, I sure want to I, I talk about that mm-hmm. because to understand that time he was locked up. It's like everybody turned their back on him to yeah. me. It's like yeah. he was just there and nobody couldn't help him. Mm-hmm. You, after all the accusations, he's just stuck. Mm-hmm. So you go down there. What are, what are your thoughts as you go down to the prison? So um, after after my mother passed or you know, even during the time of my mother being sick, Suge became my legal guardian. Okay. And okay. Mm. So almost everywhere, wherever Suge was, you went. You know what I mean. I'm there sure. today, or I'll be there tomorrow. Wow. You know? um, so yeah, I accompany him on uh, the trips of, of preparing to bring Pac home, and the day of bringing Pac home. Uh, I never did get an opportunity to go into the jail. You know, I just remember going across the street. We were a small restaurant across the street, and sitting in there and just listening and waiting. You know, watching TV and waiting. And when Suge get out. Um, from the visit, he would come to the limo and, you know, this shit gonna work. Wow. Go pop on. <laughs> you know, and he kept saying this, and, you know, he would say this, you know, for a few months. He had been saying it. But and then that last day, you know, Pac got in that car. Got in that car. And, and what was that ride back like? Were you, you were in that car? Oh, absolutely. Well, what was that so, like? So, uh, man, you know, you ride with Pac. I, again, I, my introduction to hip hop is Snoop Dogg and. You know, those guys, uh, I come up around Kusha Conflict, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? That's, uh, maybe that's, I should say, that's my introduction. Well, shout out to Wild Style. Okay, okay, that's uh, here my, though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kusha Conflict from Chicago. Uh, my cousin Wild Style was the first person to put me in the studio, but to, to be able 
to go there and work around those guys. You know what I mean? And, and you know, uh, j j just see the atmosphere of what was going on, you know, and, and pot getting out, getting out of jail and, you know, us being in the car and getting on the flight, you know, coming back. I think the biggest thing for me is remembering the flight. Pac was just so damn happy, mm -hmm. you know, to, yeah. to be out of jail. To be out, right. You know what I mean? And we had girls and we smoking weed and partying. What's the first the thing you ate? What was the first thing? If you remember, chicken. I think some, some chicken. chicken. That's I what I'm talking about. Yeah, because that's the first thing people uh, always yeah, like. They want some, free. But he just put a little weight on yeah. too. He had to put yeah, a little was, bit of weight yeah, on. He was short, and you know he come out. Man. <laughs> I don't even think he ate enough though, because I remember when when he, we arrived to California, uh, I went to the house, and then we were waiting for Pac to come uh, to the studio, and he got to the studio and got to the back door, and before he got to the door, he just fell flat first. Really just fell out. Why? They had, to, they had to wake him up and he'd get up. And was he, he drunk? Up, or oh, man, I guess he hadn't smoked and drank smoked too much. Smoked and drank, then he had to fell out. He fell right out of the door. He damn near killed Paco. Wow, damn, y'all parted him, y'all parted him. Paco's gone already, man. Wow. So, man, so. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.